Hello there, so <coughs> I'm gonna make a small tutorial, a small video on how to use uh, FTP software, you know, to transfer files or to edit files to a remote server, you know, to a Counter Strike server, to a website, because you know, most things uh, that you can edit nowadays to your to a server uh, can be done through FTP. So, so you need to do some, so you need to know some bas basics. So first of all, you must have the FileZilla client. You download it from. Uh, you can just Google it, and you can find it pretty much anywhere. So we must. You must first connect. You can do it the fa the quick way. You can put a host here, an IP or a web, web an address that somebody gives you. You know where your server, where the servers uh, are located. Uh, you must have a username password and a port. Usually you don't need to put the port, you know the default port is 21 so unless it's uh, it's another one, you have forced it to be another one, you can just use, you can just leave it blank. And you can do it uh, the hard way, so you can just put, uh, you know, <coughs> you can put the information here, it's more a little more complicated but it's also a better way, you can also save them easier and manage them easier here, you know. Here, for example, I have Ambrosias here. So uh, let's try to connect to let's try to connect and check it check out. So here we are at the eight bit servers: CS servers, CS Go, Left 4 Dead, Voice servers. So, for example, we go to Dust 2. You go there, and here are all the server files. So let's check some basics. Here is the server CFG. You can add some basic stuff like uh, the rates of the server, the host name, the, ar the archon password, you know, the basics of the server. Here are the add-ons, AMX mode X, meta mode dproto, and we got the configs when we pretty much configure anything uh, like the plugins, the admins. Uh, so we're gonna. I'm just gonna show you how to add a, bl a plugin to the server and an admin as a start for the beginners. So, uh, first of all, you need to Google your plugin, the plugin that you wanna use. Uh, after you download it, it will be like. A Wait, let me show you. Let me let me get something. Mxx uh, uh, downloads. Okay, let's download. Like, oh my god. Uh, wait. Let's find a plugin. Any. So let's count your name. So. So you download it. You must download the dot amxx file. Or you can also uh, uh, download the sma file, but that's for editing purposes. If you want, if you just want, uh, you know, to put a plugin which is ready already, you just download it let me just move it to desktop so it's easier for me to use if this fucking computer decides to work oh come on are you kidding me holy shit what the hell give me a moment uh, here it is Alright, so country on name, you just, you know, you move it here in the plugins folder. Here are all the plugins. So let me check some. Okay, so uh, you go to configs, and here, even no matter how many plugins you've added, if you don't put them on the list, they will not work. So uh, you can, you just write the plugin's name, country on name. Let's go. How did I do? Oh my god. Stupid shit. So we go here, country, country on name dot amxx, and that's it. You close it, you save it, and it will be enabled. As soon as the server starts, it will be enabled. It will uh, work. 
if you wanna disable it you just do this or you just remove it or from the list or delete it from plugins and that's it it will stop working as soon as the server restarts so so uh, now how to add admins actually uh, wait I'm not gonna open that because you know there are passwords in there and shit so let's say let's say this is our admin list so it's uh, pretty much easy you know all you need to do to add your admin uh, is to have his team ID uh, a password if you want to protect uh, protect it from you know steam ID changers uh, access flags uh, wait no admin flags sorry admin flags and access flags and you're pretty much done so for example I want to add myself I type I just I just open users I and I type exactly this thing my steam ID here I put uh, let me just quick because even I don't remember it uh, here it is I have it like on favorites because you know I forget shit as well so yeah like I said you can also do this through, through console but it's not very you know reliable you better do it uh, like that so steam, I steam ID uh, yeah you put the steam ID you put the password you put the access flags the admin flags and then the access flags what are the uh, the admin flags are all explained in this website immunity reservation tick bounce lay blah 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 whatever access you want your admin to have the connection flags or uh, access flags means uh, what it shall do to recognize you even better how, t how does it how can it recognize you and how it can uh, you know enhance this uh, security you can use it by password like uh, you can for example it says disconnect player on invalid password it says you ac it says you can also put a clan tag you can say you can wait, you can connect uh, your rights to the steam ID like you usually do or to IP or the password will not be checked so so we put the steam ID we put wait let me find it uh, where the fuck was it here we put the steam id we put a password blah 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 oh, no, you have just type password so i don't confuse you access flags and the way to recognize you we have the way to secure your uh, steam id and to recognize it so C is to recognize your Steam ID and A I think is with the password. Yes, disconnect player on invalid password. So if somebody has your Steam ID and he doesn't have your password, it's just uh, it doesn't let him enter. If you don't want to have a password, you just write C. No matter what you write here, it will uh, not read the password. You can just put something like this to you know like end the command and just to like enter it. So you can recognize that it's uh, your rights so uh, now let's say we have added our rights but uh, you know how do we get our rights through the password so we open the console we open the game oh, the fuck. I cannot record the game right now unfortunately so never mind uh, we go we open the counter-strike uh, game we open the console and we type this shut up S you type set info AP for admin password and you just type the password so blah 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 for example you press enter and that's it you never need to do that again unless you have to uninstall your CS or whatever it will be safe forever in 90 server you connect so uh, you only d d d need to do this for once sometimes it doesn't work for various reasons I cannot explain it to be honest I just happened to me that sometimes it did not work for some people so if it doesn't work you can also try PW password and you just try it again and 99% this time it will work so this was like a simple tutorial on how to add uh, plugins and admins to your own server
that's it I guess <laughs> for any other questions feel free to contact me bye